we are, are so used to thinking with the ego in the sense that thinking's small. I was reminded from Jesus in the Course that, that God created who we are in grace. And then he said, <clears throat> your identity in terms of time and space uh, is very unnatural. Uh, and it's so unnatural that you will never be able to adapt or adjust to time and space. Sometimes we have the illusion, we think, well, there's a well-adjusted person. <laughs> or wow, they really have their act together. Sometimes even comparisons. I wish I had my act together. I wish I had their life. <laughs> because they seem to have a beautiful life. And then Jesus is saying, no, you are created in, in grace. And you will never ever be able to adapt or adjust to time and space. Isn't that a relief? Doesn't that take the pressure off of trying to make something of your life, to try to carve out a niche and to try to make something of your life that's important when Jesus tells us in the Course that, that there is no life outside of heaven. That that grace, that that light, that that spirit is what life is. Life with a capital L. Life that comes from God. Life that comes from our source. That is life. And we really have to rely on something that, that's really not of this realm of time-space. I remember at first I was... I studied the Course for many years before I met David and I somehow never really get that the essence of the Course is to follow the ho Holy Spirit. Somehow it's just never come through. It's all about the ego and analyzing the ego and understanding. And I think that that, is, that has been very, very helpful. I remember when I came to Living Miracles community and at first heard about this concept or this talk that we are going to pray and follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And I was like, what? <laughs> and what is that? What, how, how do I know I even hear that? And what is the benefit of following the Holy Spirit? I was the one who asked the most questions around this guidance thing because it feels so far from from my background and from how I understood the world. But I would say that in the past 10 years, it was a full-time devotion in this direction. You know, it's a, like little by little giving over more and more decisions of my life to be guided little by little and that just become like a wash of the mind and I have to say the result of it is nothing I had expected in following his voice I started to know him because the voice and the direction started to open me up to something that is way beyond, way beyond, and that is purely experiential. Today, even, I was telling David, I said, that after the 365 lessons in A Course in Miracles, in the epilogue, there's maybe four paragraphs, that's, that's the instruction that we were given, how to move forward. And that, that whole section does have one message. 
I put you in his hands now. And he will direct you in everything. He knows how to resolve all pains and all problems. And all the answers will be given you whenever a choice is needed. That's the essence of how to move forward.